Hello, this is Palico Page and welcome back to another episode of Curious Expedition 2 or the DLC playthrough. We are back in Paris. We are at the start of a new year. It's, it's 1892, you know, and we've taken on our first modifier. That's B, unpredictable conditions. Suffer penalties on treks unless you purchase mitigating items from the ship shop. That's ship shop, not chip shop where you go and get your fish and chips. The ship shop, although you probably can still get fish and chips bomber ship shop and we are in paris with tokens to or should i say tickets to spend let's crack on shall we i mean first things first we've still got this bloody meteorite not sure what we're doing with it but we'll keep it for the time being cool to the touch uh we can upgrade ourselves i mean that makes sense more damage to our guns but uh how are we looking loyalty one loyalty two loyalty one not the best not the best but more importantly, um, I think it's about time we started upgrading some things. Um, I mean, we could probably get rid of the improved shotgun. If I was going to be doing that, I would be wanting, obviously, a DLC item. Uh, just speaking of this, what do we have? Sextant. The Clusifix. The Colonometer. And the Shield Belt. Uh, oh, that's spiky. War Saddle. A tough saddle made from a beast of war. Less comfortable, provides advantages in combat. Cool, daddy -o. I mean, none of these are new, are they? Um, it's working out well having the reds, so uh, I don't think there's anything I, I particularly want here. Sanity plus 11 compared to Sanity plus 9. Boo. So, no good here. Can't sell. However, uh, let's go to the old theatre. Experimental equipment, you say? What do you have? Are these higher? How are we for, for colored dye? So, we've got green, red, red. Red, blue. Green, blue, green, red. Blue, blue, green. So, really, it's just the red, really, where we're... Hmm, not even red. I've, I've, we're fairly even, in all fairness. We're fairly even. I mean, um, what are you? Level 3. Level 3. Level 5. Level 1. Level 5. Level 1? How are we so low? So what we got? Damage of 11. Damage of 7. Damage of 14. Damage of 10. Wow. It's definitely better. I mean, I could have the field kitchen. That's pretty cool. 24. What are you? 11. And 13 is 24. That, that adds up. That adds up. Level 4. Level 2. So, 10 fame. And a green. 7 fame. With that. I mean, as far as the step is concerned, that is better, isn't it? Than that. So, I think I need to buy you and you and trade in you. Because we love the fame. Do we love the fame more than we love, like, not dying? Probably. I mean, it's more sides, isn't it? We've got to do it. We've got to do it. Cool. So, I presume... Yes, I'll have to put you on. Uh, you just stay there. I presume meat will just appear. That's that's what I take from that. And I'm guessing I don't have enough to upgrade anything now. No. I mean, the only thing which I'm really worried about at this point is my bow staff. And I need 14. Okay, all right, fine. All right, we won't dwell. Uh, but other than that, not a lot more we can do, really. So we might as well skedaddle. Uh, the uh, reason for picking this unpredictable conditions is because we do have quite a bit of money offered to us. 
um, so it would be silly not to do it. And as much as I would like the increased fame, well, we got to go and do the, one of these, don't we? I mean, do we hit the celestial shores? No, I think I think we do the highlands, aren't we? There's no difference really. Exactly the same. We'll do the highlands. Look, slab, yes, please. As was tradition, I made my way to the bar the night before the expedition was to set sail. It was a quiet night at the tavern, which I was enjoying with my comrades. After a couple of drinks, a sailor approached us. The man asked me if I could spare one of my companions for the next couple of days. They really needed help at the pier with a sunken ship. Unfortunately, the work would delay our expedition somewhat. Okay. In case I lose them, I'm going to give them Alfred Graves. Because that's probably the less the one I'm going to miss the less. And he loves me, apparently. So, uh, we'll do Alfred Graves. Oh, plus 10 experience. I ordered Alfred Graves to go and help uh, the sailors with their trouble. I would meet him in a couple of days at the pier. Wait, anchor. Oh, it's all right. I, I was worried I might lose the guy. So, obviously, you know, if you love them, you let them go. And they love me, so I let him go. And, well, he came back. So, all's well at end, Tom. As I neared the side of the expedition, a small supply ship pulled alongside. I was grateful to Lux Labs for providing me with funds and equipment. How much funds, we say? 160. Right, so. These haven't changed. So, spectacles. Sturdy boots. And protective hat. So these two. I mean, arguably not that. Uh, but that first one we definitely need because we can't have a disadvantage when it comes to um, fighting people. Uh, we do need both of those. We'll take the lemonade. We'll take the torch as standard. And the whiskey. Winona bar. Am I willing to give it? Well, actually, I, I've got 10, haven't I? So I only have to give it one. To take that. I think that works. I'm happy with that. Cool. And we don't need any water. So let's crack on, shall we? Lux Lab had heard a tale of a great golden pyramid that had long ago sunk into the earth. Raise the buried pyramid. Cool. Here we go then. Juby is on point straight away. Trusty Highlands. Come on, Juby. Help us out. Red maggots. Always with the nose in the ground. Cool. Right, so. Yeah. So these are health. Put your health up, but take your sanity down. That's fine. Seems like a good trade-off. Uh, can't get to there. 23, 27. Oh, I must go to there. Get up high. Survey our surroundings. Or not. Um, let's go to there. Shrine straight away? What's the worst that can happen? In the distance, I spied a large, jagged boulders, like the peaks of mountains ready to erupt from the earth. Ah, it's just a shrine. Inside was a small, shadowy chamber. A long hallway led to the altar room ahead. My eyes flitted to and fro and to again, searching for traps. Green, green, green. Lots of green around. Bosh. Knocking on the walls, I noticed that one section echoed with a hollow resonance. Upon inspection, I found a subtle slab door leading to a second chamber. 
It took all of my strength, but I managed to move the great slab to one side. Wiping sweat from my brow, I cautiously entered the small doorway. I entered a small room adorned with religious implements. Looking through the ceremonial ornaments, I noticed something that seemed to hold real value. Well, what's that? Oh, it's two things. Take it all. I stuffed my plundered treasure into a satchel and returned to the empty chamber. Right. So, mountains. We carefully entered a small preserved ceremonial chamber. Strange hieroglyphics indicated that taking the treasure here would cause great mountains to burst from the earth. That's fine. We can handle that mountains. Oh, look. It's skulls and earrings. Sounds like my Friday night. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to shift. We hurried outside as the shrine crumbled and huge mountains erupted from the ground. No. Oh, scary dairy. Right. So. We want to open this way to go and check out that way. So let's go back to the ship. We can rest up. Drop off all our gold stuffs. Oh. More mountains. So, yeah, chip. Storage. Uh, you know what? Let's just come off this for a second. There we go. Let's get our standing up. It was a religious artifact with pictographs that indicated animist beliefs. Following no god or gods, this tribe believed that all things were imbued with a spirit. I dig that. Right, so, ship storage, so you can go, you can go, you can go, and you can go. I don't think there's any need to keep any of that around. We need you. Cool. Let's have a quick rest. I decided it'd be a great idea to rest here. Not good, great. The warmth of the fire soups the stresses of the day. Billy Gill and I were having a lively discussion about our findings so far when Valentine Butterbolt approached, looking a tad tense. Valentine Butterbolt nervously shifted from one foot to the other, then fixed Billy Gill with his gaze. Suddenly he confessed his love for him. Gill looked as if struck by lightning, but slowly a tender smile appeared on his face. I decided to give these two some space. In love. Ah. Our peak of sanity is ridiculous right now. We'd have to rest again. I dreamt of an elephant inviting me to her hut for a cup of tea. Lovely. The dream was strangely vivid and I found myself returning to it in my mind for days to come. Perhaps there was some greater meaning behind the strangeness. Maybe, you freak. Dreaming of elephants. Enticing you with their tea. What a pervert. Uh, that'll do. Um, no need to write anymore. Right, so, oh, I was kind of hoping that would be enough to get past there. Oh, we can get past anyway. Uh, let's just go to the top. Let's have a look on this side of the mountain. That's unfortunate. But dumb. Came across a formation of ancient stone markers. Primitive inscriptions etched into each rock seem to indicate some sort of map. So there's no caves on this island. Uh, let's check out the ruins. No. Ruins. I closed my eyes as I touched the cold stone and a vision coalesced in my mind. Alright. Oh, down there. Alright. Well, we've got a few question marks before we get to that point. Uh, so let's uh, go to there. Shallow River. Approach the Golden Seal. That we all do. That we will do. I approached a strange ancient mechanism that rose out of the ground like a great clawed hand. The control panel on the side seemed designed to set the thing in motion. It took us a while, but eventually we were able to activate the ancient mechanism. As the last button was pressed, a great column of light shot up from the seal. By gosh! That is a very green light. Let's go over here. Oh, we got pirates. Friendly pirates. Juby. Splinters. I say okay. I approach the remains of an ancient... Oh, not ancient. Old campsite. It's old. It's not ancient. 
An old campsite, apparently once erected by a failed expedition. I felt something watching me as I surveyed the area. Blue and green. You know what? I say okay. Hey, best loot. I'll take that. Ignoring the prickling at the back of my neck, I decided to spend more time here. Though it took most of the day, I found hidden valuables that a more cursory check might have missed. Wow, I've always wanted therapy paddles. Cool. Right, so before we go any further, who needs to get executed? Is it you? One out of two, one out of four, two out of four, one out of four. So. You get a shock. That time, Butterfly only allowed me to use the paddles with some reluctance, but stopped complaining immediately upon application. And ye... Oh. And you get a shock. On Billy Gill. Looking good. And then if we go down to these, heals them both back up. And then and see the granola bars. All's well that ends well. Uh, let's just go to here. That might be enough to warrant talking to the pirates. Aha! Undead pirate gang. We approached what at first had looked like a group of fellow explorers, but steeled ourselves for a fight when we saw that they were none other than the living skeletons, wearing what was clearly pirate garb. But to our surprise, they only laughed at us. They seemed to carry quite a few valuable goods with them and seemed happy to trade. Or, apparently, engage in a friendly challenge. How intriguing. Uh, well. It's it's all. So I either do one or the other. I mean, what are, what are we looking like food-wise? We've got our lemonades. We've got our whiskies. Not a lot else, in all fairness. That's bad. Uh, let's ask out the challenge. With a flourish, the leader pulled out a treasure map and explained that they knew the location of the most valuable artifacts on the island. If I was willing to fight for it, they would hand it over. Colour me interested. Colour me interested. Uh, let's just go back. If I barter, quickly they showed us the valuable treasures that they had found on their travels. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Lots of gold. I mean, I've come here. I don't actually have anything to trade, do I? Um, 15 sanity, 10 or lower. Algae. 45, 70. Fairy stones. Antelope pelt. So I could go for those, that, and that for maybe not those. How about oh, history? So if I gave you both, because I really am not fussed by those, can I have 12? 54, 84. Those are ridiculous. I'm not going to get anywhere near that, though, am I? Push my look a little. How about if I gave you... Well, it's literally just one off, so... There we go. Cool. Our business concluded. I ventured into the wilderness once more. I mean, I'm not too fussed at that point. I, I need, I just need as much sanity garb as I can. And we've got our worst case scenario bit there, which is good. Right, so let's move on. Uh, do they like us? I don't know at this point. Maybe. Let's, um, let's attack the black walls first. Two of them. All right. I dig it. Ah, ooh. Right, oh, well, there's our fame done. Uh, the rest I, I can live with. So what are you going to throw me? Nothing. All right. 
Or could do a strength boost. Or I could do a strength boost. Let's go with strength boost this time around. Right, so. That is pretty gnarly. Let's go with that, that, and that. On you. Oh, should have done that as well. Fourteen. Yeah, so that. I uh, don't think it matters too much. You. So, uh, thee be dead. Thee be dead. Take the fame this time, I guess. Pop! I looted the bodies of the fallen. That's how we do that. Nice. All right, so take it all. Let's go and say hello. A village, uh oh, a village elder managed to convey that they were missing a key ingredient in tonight's rituals. They'd be very grateful if I could supply the ingredient. I don't have it. Sorry. They seemed disappointed, but I was nevertheless welcomed into the village. And we're on minus three, are we? Uh, let's uh, see if we can sweeten the deal a little. Oh. What what are we like for our mental afflictions right now? Uh, oh, you're injured. That's all right. We're cool. For uh, the first time in a long time, we don't actually need that mushroom as much as uh, it is around. Um, level five, level five. All the reds. I mean, what do you do? Damage and bleeding. Wow, quite high damage, actually. Uh, a throw. Even higher damage. And a shaft strike. That's pretty formidable. As opposed to... So, you're worth 130. You're worth 128. So, that is like for like as far as I can see. What are you? Not worried about clues to safe places. Uh, meat would be nice. And what about coffee? So if I wanted all of this, what do I need to give you? We're overburdened. That's fine. <coughs> I mean... Helps a little. Um, the meats we can use six. Go to that as well. We need one of those. I hate giving away fame stuff, even for little stuff like that. Fame and sanity, that's what we're about. I'm going to have to give it away, aren't I? Oh, still not there. Five for six. Eight for ten. And we've got two of those, that's twenty. So, six there. That's only four. That's twelve. That's six, what? Was that only six? That's the next lowest, isn't it? 
Can I have one of these back? Can I have two of them back? Don't push your luck. All right. That'll do. I, I definitely don't need any of these, do I? Sharpness of vision. More teeth. No. I think we're cool. I mean, I'd like to have balanced it out, but sometimes that's just not the case. And we got a new weapon. So, uh, let's rest. I mean, it's free. The Islanders were willing to let us rest in an empty hut. However, they demanded payment due to our less than virtuous reputation. How much? How much do you want? You want quite a lot. Uh, screw it. It's not worth it. I'm just going to steal from you instead. You know it. You had the opportunity. Didn't take it. Alfie Graves flashed a grin and revealed what he had taken. I had to admire his skill. It seemed that the theft had gone unnoticed. How much are they worth? Fair amount. Can we rest on top, on top of that? Ha. Huh. Lovely. I mean, can I have this back? Even better. Teeth? Grr, he's not angry. Angry man. I mean, if I get more of those back, do I get... I don't even get a plus up, do I? I'm having that back at the very least. We're going to balance this out. That's what we're going to do. Payment given. The villagers allowed us to bed down for the night. In a quiet moment around the fire, a villager approached me with a question. What was more important for our people? Honour or kindness? Uh, that's a good question. Kindness. I've always gone for kindness. They smiled warmly at my answer, patting my shoulder affectionately. Hey, cheesy grin. We're done. I rested in the day in, in the village for a few days to recover. The islanders remained kind, but there was an undercurrent of distrust. Nosy, nosy. Oh, I'll stay down. Welcome. The next day, I felt I was being watched. We packed up and departed as new adventures were waiting. The villagers stared as I departed. Bye bye. There's twins. Ah. And that. Oh, crows. That is where we are going to leave this episode. In the next episode, we have got question marks to go around. Uh, we've got another seal to find before the pyramid. Or else we are going to be chasing our tails. And I am very, very aware that we don't have a lot of uh, sanity stuff. So. That's something we're going to have to work on. And also see how this fridge works. But we'll do that in the next time around. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy.